Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Politically Frank. So here we are waiting for Datuk Sri Tengku at nine. So here's the car. Alright. Alright, so here's the Dato. So excited to meet him. Assalamualaikum Dato. Okay, we are from Sina Daily. My name is Teha. Yeah, yeah. So uh, first of all, here's the, the mic. Do you need any help? Yes, let me clean for you. Alright, here we go. So first, thank you so much for being here with Sina Daily today for our Politically Frank. So, okay, so we're from Sina Daily. So how are you today, uh, Datuk Sri? I'm okay, Teha. I'm alright. <laughs> You didn't go? Around only. I see. Alright, yeah. so now we were told about 2,500 voters were here for the Sesir Amasri of you today. How yes. do you feel about that? Well, uh, you see what happened with me. This program has been uh, scheduled, uh, not because of election, because I have not been seeing my voters and my rakyat uh, for the last three years because of the COVID. They were all locked up and uh, we couldn't meet one another. So I've instructed my office uh, to, pro- to do this program. I see. One is Mursala Rakyat, the other one is Dalinan Rakyat. Mursala Rakyat is a program where we meet all our people and also uh, to celebrate their birthday, you know. That's I what see. I do for the last 20 over years. I see, okay. So, well, I'm quite glad that there's a lot of them who are here today. This Afternoon, it now it shows because we miss one another. I miss them, and they also miss me. I see. You know. Ingat, ingat, ingat. You okay? Okay. Hey, what about? What about money? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Huh? Paris National. Okay, okay, okay thank you. Hi, we're from Sina Daily. Kerja ya, Datuk Sri. Okay, so kita nak tanya satu soalan sikit. Okay, why do you support uh, Datuk Sri Tengku Adnan? Okay. Uh, sebenarnya saya dah uh, mula-mula buka Putrajaya, Datuk uh, Sri yang uh, jadi ketua kampung kita dan kami semua taat, kami setia kan dia. Susah senang kami. Anak-anak saya empat orang masuk universiti. Uh, Datuk Sri tolong bantu permulaannya dan sampai sekarang. Alhamdulillah Datuk Sri memang akan menang tahun ini. Alright, thank you so much. Okay, now you say I can listen to, to the these are all the my adik you know. Wow. Because 20 years here, yeah, I'm an MP. But I told them call me ketua kampung. I'm just like ketua kampung to them. You know? Like right. to couple them. That's what uh, our interaction between one another. And we, we do this also, apart from getting me to meet them, they also have a chance to meet all their uh, fellow friends as well, you know. Okay? All right. All right, let's continue our walk yeah. to Datuk Sri. Yeah. All right, so now let's start with politically frank's questions. Yeah. So first, we need you to be very frank with us today. Hey. Okay. Oh. Datuk Sri is very popular, everyone. Kalau mana ni? Okay, sama. Hey, hey ni. Kita nak interview. Mana ni? Mana ni? Mana ni? Sama tengah mana ni? Oh, mana ni? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Datuk. Let's continue our walk. So, for politically frank, we need you to be very frank with us. So are you ready, yes. Datuk Sri? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, first, our first question. Will hmm. you be defending your seat at Putrajaya? Inshallah. If I'm... Uh, if I'm... Uh, asked to... If I'm asked to defend the seat, I would definitely defend the seat. Because these are all my brothers and my sisters. You know? Some are younger than me. Some are my, like just like my grandchildren, you know? So... Uh, definitely, if I'm given a chance, I will still defend the yeah. I see. Okay, so Dato. Okay, okay. okay, another question, Dato. Do you think your court court cases will have an impact on the voters' decision? Yeah, there is no. The, the court cases which happened to me is basically a politically motivated uh, cases. What case do I have? You know? I don't have a, the case which they put against me where people... I have already said that uh, said that the uh, payment was made for political funds. 
the donors have to say, I've given them receipts, but the, the court still uh, decides otherwise. But what amazed me the most, on my first case, when the judgment was uh, uh, sentenced to me, where they said uh, two million, first, Okay, okay, okay. Okay. When it's okay, we will give you time to take pictures with your voters. Okay. okay. All right. When when the the, 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 the court the judge sentenced me first two thousand ringgit and then uh, twelve months jail. When my lawyer asked the judge, "Are you sure, young lady, two thousand? Oh no, 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 it's two million and twelve months jail." And then he said, "Yes." Uh, my judgment is that, but my judge, you know what he said amazed me the most? Eh? My judgment could be wrong. You can still go and appeal. How can he become a judge in the first place? In fact, I was supposed to recuse him when he mentioned that rich people also take money. You know? When my lawyer approached me, I told my no need, like, because he's a new judge, he's a young judge. If we recuse him, he would not have, uh, he would not have, he would not have a future, you know. So I said, give him a chance. But towards whatever judgment he did to me, on that day of judgment, I was very, very upset. He cannot be a judge. You know, how can a judge can say that my judgment could be wrong? You can still go and appeal. And this is what the court is all about. So this is not fair. To me, my cases are all not fair. It's all politically motivated because I'm the Secretary General of the party. And I was asked to cross. I was asked to kill my own party. And I refused to kill my own party. I said, whatever, whatever today, whatever I am today, is because of my party. It is not that they gave me project. It is because they have created a stability, given me a stability government so that I can earn a living. Okay, so now we can see that those three are relaxing over here under the so now we can see that you're relaxing here under the tent. So let's continue our politically frank. We go further down. Okay, let's go. Okay, Dato, sorry. Let's continue with our questions. So why did our no top leadership insist to do an election immediately, especially when it's the monsoon season? Like why BN decided to do an election? Why we we do elections? Why do we do elections? The opposition was in power. They accepted the Trump and then we got to give up. We got to fall. We got to have an election. And it was also in the job shows. No, no, no. Don't take more than an example. And excuse me. Time has come for the Rakyat to give us a mandate to the government. Because this government is stable at all. From today, from up at the G40 till today, it's not stable. Tuan Mahathir runs the country for 32 years, not stable. Why is that for 17 years, not stable? Luckily, when Pani Ismail Sabri took over the government, it's stable a bit. Mas this, you see, there's 12 Malay, his cabinet ministers, go and petition against Prime Minister, towards Agong, not to have an election. What are your expectations for voting day, especially okay, for the voters now? I believe that Raya Malaysia will vote us back in because they want the Makmuran dan Kahan. Okay, then you also mentioned before that AMNO and BN have an advantage despite deciding to go solo in the G15. Why do you think that? We, we wanted to go with friends. Because we are a multiracial party. Marisa National is the only multiracial party in this world, I mean, in this country. We were formed with the Malays, Chinese, and Indian, Karazan, even everybody. We've got 200 over ethnic groups in this country. But because we lost, some have to break away, some do not join us. To us, if anybody who wants to be with us to work towards a development of the nation, we welcome. But since they are only being greedy towards power, how can we okay. accept them? You know? So we so we decided that we go solo. Okay. All right, let's continue our walk. <laughs> no, we still have a few questions for you. But we, but we don't want to catch out your voters from greeting you. We have we still have a few questions for you, but we still want you to greet your voters. And all. Okay. Okay. So where are you going? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, then maybe another two questions. Yeah. Okay. So I finish you lah. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so, so, so you are a seasoned politician. So who do you think should be the prime minister now? So zero. Well, it's all a little bit all okay. Businessman, you can get businessmen and rich people, but businessmen and rich people, when they make money, they keep it for themselves. Okay, I'm the I'm only rich man and businessman who get whatever I have. If I have spent, I give it back to the society. You look at what okay. I give. Mohammed, you look at what no I give. Raja, Benji, you look at what Raja, I give. There's at least there's okay. a million dollars. Are you happy? Yes, we are very surprised to see that. Nice to me. That's what I am. Yes, India. So I am advising politicians. Please, you have to become a politician. No appointment, no YC. You become servant. You are the 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 servant. All right. So our final question, finally, Dato Sri. What do you want to tell to the people? What do you want to tell to the people to go out and vote? 
I, I hope that you go out, cast your vote, because this is important. This is important for you. It's your future. You know, if you if, if you vote wrongly, I don't know what's going to happen to this country. So please come out. Thank you. Right, thank you so much for joining us for Politics Have a nice day. Thank you so much for joining us for Politics Have a nice day. Alright, right, can we ask you a question while you're here? How do you tell us? How do you think that Tok Sri has performed as well? Uh, yeah. Because I living here yeah. about uh, 20, 20, uh, 21 years. So from uh, from uh, Putrajaya started, then I uh, show that I can see that uh, they have many uh, contribution from the from the Datuk 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 Datuk